So now we'll discuss the outdoor scoreboard. So here I have a uh, outdoor baseball scoreboard. So with this, if you open up into the driver enclosure where that's located at, we have the, this is our older style driver tray. If I open up the uh, driver tray and we get into here, this is where we have to hardwire our power in. So the indoor scoreboards, we set a power cord. Outdoor, we actually have to land our power wires onto the terminal block. If I have a hard wire connection, the hard wire connection is going to plug into my signal in on my uh, surge card up here. If I had a radio, the radio would plug into my five pin connection up on here. That's where the radio would plug into. This driver is fairly similar to my indoor scoreboard driver, except for the exception is this has a fiber jack on it, so some of the scoreboards might have had a uh, fiber connection on it. Again, I still had my nine pins to go to my individual digits. I still have my 12 pin in the middle for power and signal. I still have an address plug. The one thing is with this address plug is there are some dip switches on this particular driver. If the address plug is in, you want all the dip switches pulled towards you to have those all turned off. If you have to change this driver and you do not have the address plug in it, but you just have the dip switches set, you have to look to see what these dip switches are set to and then set the new driver accordingly in order to set your address. With these, there are this is the power supply. So since this is an eight column driver, these other jacks are not loaded. We only have one power supply. This power supply runs the circuitry and the first eight jacks. If I have a second power supply loaded here, that would actually run power to my second set of jacks on here. And you have the fan that points down onto the, uh, onto the power supplies. If I have a horn, the horn would plug into my four pin jack. This five pin was a uh, protocol jack that uh, was used for uh, time of day. The radio, um, you could have the surge card or there is a uh, little jack here that had a little pigtail coming off that your radio could be uh, plugged into as well for there. This is on our old uh, legacy style. We will also go through how to do it on our, our current drivers. So this is our new driver enclosure tray that well, you have in uh, outdoor scoreboards. So when the covers are located on it, it tells you how to land your uh, power coming in. This is not, none of it's the scale, but it shows how to land your power wires coming in. It shows if we have a signal surge card, what the connections are on there. It shows our new scoreboard driver. It shows what the indicator lights do. So there are four different indicator lights. And it shows where they're at on the driver. It displays what the indicator lights are doing. And it shows how to set our address using the high and low switches. So to get into my driver tray, I just uh, lift up on the cover. The cover comes off. So this is the inside of our new uh, driver tray, so our new gyro scoreboards. This is our uh, current gyro scoreboard driver that we have. We have uh, one power supply instead of the two. We have our uh, fan, we still have our fan. The connections are still the same. I still have my terminal block down here for my power, so that stayed the same versus the new one and the old one. The difference is, is my uh, surge card. So here's my uh, fiber surge card. Fiber comes in on the jack in the bottom. I have this connection that goes back to give your signal to your driver the, on this four pin connection. There's also a two-pin jack here. This uh, is for power for this card. I have a two-pin jack on my driver, so there would be a two-pin that goes between my driver and my surge card. That'd be on the fiber card only. They also have a surge card for wire. So if we're doing hard wire instead of fiber, I have my signal in and I have my signal out. And again, I have that same four-pin connector for running into my driver. I have my nine-pin jacks that go to all my different digits. There's a 12-pin jack in the middle is power in, signal in, signal out. I have my six pin jack here. This would be for connecting to the radio. I could have a address plug plugged into this um, jack or I can use the dials on here. So I have a high and a low switch and you can turn the dials in order to set your address. Coming from the factory this would already be set but if you have to change the driver out you have to make note of what these switches are set to prior to changing out your driver. And this little four pin jack here, this four pin jack is for the horn. If we had a horn, the horn would be plugged into our four pin jack.